Hey everybody, we are back. Day 19. Today's theme is make me laugh. And this game, Hive Swap Act 1, that I randomly was chosen from random, random games. What's up, Ohm? How you doing, man? Got, got the... You can probably make this a little bit uh, larger, maybe. So this is a point-and-click adventure game in the hive swap in the uh, what's it called? Homestuck world, something like that. All right, glad to have you here for however long or short you're up for. Yeah, I really don't know anything about Homestuck. It's got some kind of reputation? Not really sure what kind. Maybe sort of a negative one? And we're, uh... This game, I chose randomly. I think it was like back in September or something. Like of all... Oh, hydrate. Thank you. Oh. I almost tried to drink from my bottle without the cat being on. Ah. And this game is uh, quite a... Mm, hold on. Quite a pleasant surprise. Not that I thought it was going to be bad or anything. But it's really cute. And it was really funny. So it's going to be fitting with the theme today. Pretty nicely. Dude. So, uh, yeah. We were just out playing. We're like a, a middle schooler. Man, that's lagging a lot. Seriously? Okay, I guess that was... Is that just their idle animation or something? What's, uh... Man, there's a lot to click on out here. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, there there's a lot. Yeah, we got attacked by monsters, now we're hiding inside. Man. <laughs> I haven't played Final Fantasy XIV. Maybe someday. Who knows? I would recommend you grab your strife weapon from the hall closet and head up to the attic as quick as you can. You're sticking with your plan for now. Alright, so um, there's no going downstairs right now, I, I guess. My room. And it's just a million things to click on. And I gotta be clicking on all of them. It is a globe-like structure with an arrow that conveniently alerts you to the location of the ceiling. Ah, so that's where it is. Thank you, globe-like structure. You get a tap? Wow. Look at it go! Well, that was stimulating. Ooh. Dude insisted the terrified horse was being abducted. Your counter-argument completely schooled him. This painting now commem commemorates your triumph. And a particularly spectacular equine <laughs> nativity. The, the life in the store was only a clever distraction making a secret abduction. Nope, his friend brought him a special surprise. It's a birthday cake! I don't know if there's... Uh, we zoomed in on it all nice. I don't know if there's actually anything else to be done here. And yeah, we can just kind of tap dance. Somewhere. I forget how we tap dance. <laughs> Got a weird old key. I forget where we found it. 
It's your mother's jewelry box, a priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appear to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. This thing's always giving you the creeps, but it didn't stop you from patching it up with Jude accidentally when Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. Okay. Uh, from the first and last dart gun war with Jude, the Linda here provides great cover from those who refuse to use firearms, namely you. You try to distract him with your tap dancing, and then stick a dart on him. It didn't work. At all. This lady was just hanging out in her all together, uh, in her all together, which you mean, uh, who are you to judge? Except it made you slightly uncomfortable, so you churched her up a little. You feel kind of silly about it now, but whatever. You were like eight, and uh, no one punishes these kids for ruining these works of art, because no one cares. Anything else around? Yo, the the sewer sharks. Yeah, this game takes place in like 1998 or something. This lamp's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources here in immediate area, so maybe it got lost in the typically well illuminated shovel. It's all my closet, if memory serves. There's a box full of some old belongings of yours in here. You wonder if it is what you're looking for. Let's go in there last. Your light bright. Hours of fun with the number of hours and the degree of fun depart uh, dependent on the power of your imagination. Yeah, it's just a point-and-click adventure game. As you can see back there, in the window, momentarily. Wait for it. Maybe it's not actually going to show up when the uh, when this is open. Uh, which oh no, oh, you saw that? You saw that? Saw that down there? So those guys, they attacked us while we were outside, and now my brother is cowering in the treehouse. Yeah, story-wise, we're just trying to help him somehow. Um, which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. Oh, fancy. Yeah, I had one of these as a kid. I don't think I played with it much. It's a box! A family. Whirlies. This one is uh, unusually un. What's the word? The uh, vandalized. You've always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the in the water. It feels like the eye is following you, but only sometimes. Huh. Riveted, warning, radio premises, blah, 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 something Russian. Has it? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. This is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother's maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, who would even want to? It's full of nerd stink and goober crud. 
Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but, uh, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let Jude deal with. Open? Our seems locked, even if you did manage to get in, he probably has traps set up. Not worth trying to get gum out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pet to deal with. No oh, thanks. You got Castle Grayskull. Wow, we actually like a tube for a hamster? Or a snake? Drive weapon. Nothing else to do around there. Is there anything to do out here? Bunch of stuff that could be moved into the attic. There's some toys here too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically a pile of loot useless trash. Kind of that's a sketch. On rare occasions he's home, Pa can be heard bumping around up here while tending to his horde of stupid antique trash. Or priceless artifacts, you mean. No, you don't. <laughs> it's locked, but you need to get in here as soon as you can. Here, through the keyhole. Oh. Maybe? I, I feel like like it's a Homestuck world that has a lot of different stories that go on in it. I don't know. Weird. What the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey, the attic door is locked. Cripes, forget about- forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by a monster- by monsters in the hallway. You know, because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door. It is not fine, over. Dude. Panic not necessary. Extreme danger possible. However, it should acquire a weapon at all haste. We'll re relay key whereabouts upon weapon retrieval. Over. Ugh, fine. So it, so it is fine, over. Bye. Over and up. You love to touch it and disturb whatever astronomically inappropriate, improbable equilibrium is at play. Let's just leave it. What? Oh. Oh! The slinky. Gotcha. Alright, well, we need to go get the... Uh... Oh. What are we looking at? The hallway seems spookier from the side. Frankly, you feel a little spookier yourself. Just basking in its spooky aura. Yeah, I really do not know exactly what Homestuck is, but it's something. Cute. Uh, can I not just look at the door? Oh, and uh, this. This gun can shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. You don't use guns. I see. Alright, so the only option is to, uh... Head on in here. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach... Hmm. You wonder what your next step should be. Actually, I think I know exactly what it is. Actually, your tap shoes... Uh, might be the solution to this problem. You could just get a, get a good stomping going. You might be able to tumble the box right off the shelf. You think back to before, back to when this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess about what was inside, but now your guess is even more reasonable. <laughs> They're not just... You can't search box, but it's still up on the shelf. Okay, yeah. Yeah! Wonder what's stashed in here. Nothing fragile, you hope. Well, that Can I dance for this again?
Your heavy ta uh, rapid tap shoes would send those little pegs scattering across the floor. Maybe even under your still tapping feet. You might just slip and roll across them, down the hall, to the edge of the stairs, and tumble down them, breaking every single bone in your body. Every single bone! There's just no way you can take that risk. Recussive motion might set off Jude's pet, which is the last thing you feel like dealing with right now. So I think there's... There's a little bit of dialogue for just about using every item on everything. She might topple over. And what crueler way to kill the ballerina than by tap dancing her to death? No, you'd never forgive yourself. This thing's always giving you the- yeah. Uh, 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 no. Chain would rattle him. Jeez. That'd be horrible. The attic was bust for now and you've gotten luckier- You got lucky avoiding the monsters. But you really do need to gear up with your strife weapon before you go downstairs. When was that? Yeah. Da, da, da. You pick through the box and find your flashlight. And an old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh, hey. There's some pet treats in here, too. You keep caches of these all over. Never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click, no dice. Another battle, another battery problem. You open it up. Wait, there, are, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Pogs? Pogs. Dang it, Jude. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. No. No, I'm throwing them all away. Joey, please! That's my favorites! Over. I'm not really throwing them away, you nerd. What do you take me for? Thanks! Over. Still need to get you to the attic! Over. For safety right now... For safety right now, well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that! Over. Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey, just need you to head to the trophy room, over. Oh, gross. I hate that place. Who who does he need a special trophy room when our whole house is just dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father are not relevant. Fine. Over and out. Go ahead of the trophy room. Affirmative! Over. Got it. Over and out. There's some D cell batteries if you want the flashlights to have any purpose other than emergency pog storage container and very poorly designed paperweight. This is the light bright and some low budget performances you put on its surprisingly evocative backdrop. If you do say so yourself, and by goodness, you certainly do say so yourself. And there are a million things. You slip on a few... Uh, you slip a few under the door when all this is over. And everything that's gone wrong has been set right again. And the monster lives on, on only in your nightmares. Then he'll know that you have some of his pogs. Alright, dance with the ballerina! You show her a few steps. Nothing. Ugh. Too bad, she could put the calves in Cavalier. Wait, hold on, was that? You think back to before, what? Yeah, yeah. That's profoundly creepy and you'd rather not. No! You might jostle mom's jewelry box off the table. Doing ballet while wearing your mom's jewelry. 
one day. It makes you feel really good to think about, but it's all but it also hurts. You want to be the best in the world first. Best in the world first. You can't wear your stuff until then. Oh, what? It's your mom's jewelry box. Priceless heirloom of me yeah. Huh. This it opened. Uh. Huh. Right! Pringles cans! Why didn't Jude put the pogs in those, instead of in your flashlight? The sudden rush of disgust threatens to overwhelm your senses as you realize those Pringles cans can actually be full of pogs. You bury this thought like a just stung child covering a half-smashed, twitching wasp under frantic fistfuls of dirt. So, uh, no go on the pogs? The pr pog pringles? Pring pogs? Alright, so now we can actually go down here. I wanna see if there's... I think I know what the key is for. I, I try the key that I've got. I don't think that does anything, though. Nah, this doesn't go to the attic door. That would be kind of anticlimactic, you think. Not to mention all too obvious. <laughs> They'd get lost or broken or stolen or worse. You don't know what's worse than those things, but it's clearly on the table. If you dump your precious treasure in those lo this loose pile of stuff. As you approach the spiraling coils of the slinky with your heirloom in hand, the metal gets a little warm and it begins to vibrate slightly. Thus quickly as it started, it stops. You don't think it has anything to do with opening the attic door, but it certainly was weird. Huh. Now, I feel like you could try everything on just about everything, so maybe I won't try everything? No, hold on, let's... I think it's a Petrites and Jude's Pringles uh, can would be a pretty good prank. With the specter of running out of treats later, uh, later, right when you need a, a, to meet a cute new animal friend, looms large. Huh? Your mom's jewelry box? This is where you found your heirloom when you were very young. Not long after what happened. It was just nestled in there among her fine, beautiful jewelry, and you just took it. You just had this feeling like you had to keep it safe. Maybe you wanted something of hers to be just for you. Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Dang, her mom's hot. Ooh la la. That there mom is looking très glamnifique. When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors, uh, what mirrors will look like. <laughs> okay, that's a funny way of putting that. You and your very good dog. Aw. There ain't any pictures of the three of you together, so you tried to make one. Do the art of composition. By hanging these three solo photos together. Kind of like there's a photo of all three of you, sort of. A lovely diptych of school portraits. Laser background, the bad hair day, simply perfection. Haha, <laughs> Jude puts the dip in dips. Diptych. You mutter to yourself. Just an unreal burn on your on the unsuspecting chump, but he probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, I mean, neither do you. Ah, and somebody presumes his sister? Nobody he's ever mentioned. Not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think you might have 
like a second cousin out there you've never met. Maybe she died young? The old timey t uh, times were pretty rough. The old timey times were probably like... 70s? Mom is the picture of grace and radiance. Pa is just pa. Seriously, have you ever changed? Has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and mustache, or at least one of the two. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now, probably more than with mom and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Till you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but, pro but it's probably not your place to ask. I used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened? Maybe a betrayal? No, impossible. Look how good that dog is. That dog never betrayed anyone in his entire life. You would stake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. Ugh, you can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. One of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways was how he never actually looked at you much, let alone at, at your eyes. Huh. Okay. Oh, nothing there. This guy. What's he so happy about, anyway? The expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever your paw plundered him from. Huh. Looks like an old Aztec Quetzalcoatl thing. Tap dancing would probably just agitate a snake. If you had to get past one, which is... Very possible. Likely, even. Good to know. You cleverly dodged the serpent, but you're not surprised. Ballet is, after all, the preferred school of dance for such a venture. Oh. Well. Seems the power is out. That would make the trophy room quite the adventure. Which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic PSYOPs, over. That's me! What? Credit where it's due! Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally, over. Not literally. It's still, like, late afternoon, I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting the trophy room then, over. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. And this place is a mess. Bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including pistols to pelts. How to turn sweet intelligent animals into weird rugs and stuff. Treat yourself taxidermy, I guess. And safaris. Stories of bold men and the animals they killed from a distance, even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. Snarky. Dance at it. They're already pretty cluttered on the shelf without your help. You may have been the one who tap danced these books into their cluttered state in the first place. You didn't need your graceful ballet skills to avoid reading. All you need is the power of your video games. Just your reliable old portable cassette. Subtle. Yeah, yeah. A uh, reliable old portable cassette player, complete with headphones. Dude can occasionally be found using it to even further isolate himself from reality. 
Uh, salvage? They're probably like triple A's though. Dead batteries, of course. Seems to be a running theme. Ooh, is that a Game Boy? It's a handheld gaming device that you and Jude share. He hogs it, mostly. But that's alright, since you got the console in your room. Also probably triple A. Uh, you have it on good authority that the batteries in this thing are A, way too small for anything you may or may not be currently need, need batteries for, and B, dead as a bag of doornails. I don't want to know what a live bag of doornails looks like. There's a big screen, got the cable hookup and everything. It's your home, al home altar and your method of worship is listing vegetation. List this vegetation. The gods reward you with glimpses of the divine. Clarissa, Alex Mack, and the cool green lady from Reboot. <laughs> Man, the references. You really like her. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's cool. Pa's major totem of power. The impressively clunky item controls the TV, the garage door, the toaster, the thermostat, and pretty much everything else of a gizmological nature. You literally cannot pick it up without using both hands. Wow. That's gotta have some triple A's in it, right? Or triple, triple D's. You pop open the behemoth and score! You pocket the E-cell batteries right into the old Silodex. I don't think I ever had a remote like that. I think we've only ever had like three remotes for the same TV. One to turn it on, one for the audio, one for probably like... One for the cable, one for the television, and then another for speakers. That's probably it. These batteries are so huge they don't even begin to fit. Like fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You'll need some D-cell batteries. Alright, well I got some... I don't know if I've ever had E-cell. At a relative home. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's... there it is. That's that honking thing. A bean bag chair. Super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. You could take a nap, but you're kind of got a lot going on right now, you know? It's a bear that your paw shot and turned into a trophy. Now all his friends who come in this room will think, Oh, this guy shot a bear. Okay. Because he doesn't really have any friends and he's never here. So it's just a big, nice, horrifying thing for you to deal with. One of your pa's recent victims. You love animals. He loves killing animals and turning them into ghoulish trophies, celebrating his victory over nature. Yeah, big man, as long as he has a big stupid gun. It's kind of funny, he's got the hooves on both sides of the water buffalo. I, I believe that's what it is. <laughs> My haunting melody. A piano can be used to turn the slight motion of one's fingers into music. Those ivories, how they beg to be tickled. But you mustn't! Also, you, uh, can't. Play haunting melody. Oh, that would be just a thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really get the tone of the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe. It's a shame that would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Huh. I, th I think this is her. I'm pretty sure this is all internal narration. Also, you can't really play the piano. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give it flowers. Oh, this piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice refinishing. 
If your pawn has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Yeah. Hmm. You wonder if you'd be driving by then. College? Where you teach because you are an adult and 20 years have passed. Oh, there's a spooky monster. My my. Is these all your mom? Is this your mom? Ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness. You'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. Well, I'm trying to get to where- oh wait, no, no. Okay. Alright, it's kind of just like the- uh, hold on. Alright, let's go. This used to be stacked neatly on the shelves, but your dog came clambering through and slammed right into them. It tumbled everywhere. That was about three years ago. You aren't great housekeepers. No, really? It's like the leg lamp, except all of the woman. This lamp makes you brush brighter than the, brighter than the lamp itself. Whoa. You always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the, the lion looks so alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that, or they painted it very, very fast. <laughs> The teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. You, uh, it was named for its founder, the chief physician, uh, Arsla Teddy Bear. Arsala Teddy Bear. Oh, hold on. Anything else? Hold on, I wanna... I wanna tap dance for the... Nah. Why's it got so many lady statues? Boy, your pa really gets inventive with his taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. Hey, he makes a pretty good metronome. Your ballet is like the bear clock, precise and fierce. Oh, uh, they should probably be in a museum. Yeah, man, it's an adventure game. You gotta click on everything. I really like the dialogue here, or descriptions. Stack so nicely in the corner like that. It'd be a shame to tip them over with your hot steps. So what is this again? Alright, that's like, just look. Yes. Whoa. A lot of these ladies are apparently your mom's friends. You should look them up sometime. You may, uh, avoid mentioning that your pa had blue-only portraits of- portraits made of them. Although, if they were friends with your mom, they may have had to deal with your pa on occasion, so it would probably come off as no surprise. Is this the trophy room? Oh, wow. Dark in here. This room is really giving you the creeps. Here's something... breathing. Something else you mean, besides you. Oh, 
No, I hear it. There could be something awful lurking in here, like the snake thing you're not sure you want to draw it out with a treat. It's way too dark to find the battery slot or anything in here, assuming such a thing even exists. In the darkness, you mean. Or an object in the darkness, obviously. Blah. This is creeping you out, or just rambling to yourself, like, uh, like you usually do, honestly. I make it a scared face. You chuck a pog into the darkness. You don't hear it land. But then again, you weren't really listening for it. Because you really don't care. You don't want to make... Uh, you know what may be lurking in the dark? If there is something, like, say, the horrible thing that chased you all the way to the door of, this, of your room. You don't want to agitate it with frivolous tapping. You don't think it's a scared face? I'm feeling a scared face. You always look before you leap. I think mean, concern... Concern kind of goes in the sphere. You always look before you leap. And until you get the power back on in this room, this... Uh, room you're not sure you'd, uh, you'd be leaping onto or into, like, say, a snake's, snake monster's hungry mouth, for instance. A uh hmm face. You're going to need to add some Esol batteries if you want your flashlight to serve any purpose. I don't know. Okay, so I think we just gotta get out of here. Just see so you pass in the living room, pulling the door shut behind you. It shuddered as something heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. You can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd! Rest of house navigable? Over. Considered utilizing flashlight? Over. You mean the one you filled with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please! Over. No use dwelling on past! Over. Doesn't matter anyway. Something blocking the something's blocking the door of the trophy room now. Something? Over. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, I recommend focus on restoring power before sun sets completely. Over. Oh jeez, you're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to re to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecure channel. Over and out. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power out and seems to grant invader significant advantage. Over. That's not really a tip. That's more like just an explanation of why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell. Circuit breaker probably in basement. Over. The that was helpful. That was very helpful. Thanks. Do my best. Over and out. Oh, I didn't even check this door before, did I? Oh, well, that might have D-cell batteries right there. Power is off, and as such, your fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. Looks like you're not saying you never have home-cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is that you... And just eat it right out of the boxes, and then throw the boxes away. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash either. Speaking of... You visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. <laughs> Mac. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out, tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities? You're not sure where the trash was piled next to the fridge. Even animals know better than to let their food fraternize with their waste. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. 
The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. Turn the radio off. Though it must be battery powered. Rumbo! Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and you can tell this is just really crummy. Oh, it'll stay that way. The tuner is for tuning the radio. Yep, by golly. You've cranked it all the way down to try to stop that awful noise. You crank it a little harder and, um, oops. You might have broken it, actually. Actually, you're okay with that. So I'm gonna stay that way. So, yep, open up the batteries. Hmm, the radio is clearly, although weirdly, functional. Despite not being plugged in, might be onto something here. Yeah, you open the battery compartment. Okay, good. If this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spookitude to business class spookitude. And frankly, you can't afford that. Jackpot. D cells. You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes either. Sweet loyal dog loves that flap. Dude used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. The backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monsters showed up. You really don't want to go out there right now. Tempting though is to go rake more leaves. Ah, the struggle of the monster bothered leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meeting the start of zine. <laughs> Man, that's a niche and a half. Wait, hold on. I just, uh, this and that. You can almost feel the electric potential held within their vaunted copper tops. The cylindrical power capsules cast in the alloy of myth, drumming with the barely contained galvanism. Galvanism. No way. Galvanism of 100 greases worth of muscular gods. These batteries are huge! As far as you know, they don't fit anything but the universal remote. But hey, the night is young. Dude's Pogs! There's a cool Scully one, but the rest are all dumb cartoons, vague, rebellious graffiti, and bad video games. Pet treats! Animals love these! Except the most dangerous animal of them all. Man. Wow, blew your own mind there for a second. This was your mom's, but you aren't sure what it is. It looks like a key, but to what? You have a deep down feeling that it's important somehow. Better keep it close. Uh, Alright, we've already done that. The sink is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. There are monsters out there, watching, working up an appetite. Oh, there's monsters out there? You think you'll leave it shut? Also, you don't actually know how to open this window, short of breaking it. No way. No way! You did them last time. It's Jude's turn now! You know what? After he completely ditched you for those for the treehouse earlier, maybe it could be Jude's turn for the for quite some time. Yo, oh, Captain Crunch. I've never had craft Captain Crunch in my life, I don't think. You're even out of dog food? Things really have gotten desperate. You guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was retrospectively the worst possible time. There's a mummy in front of that door. The tube highway that Jude's pet uses to get around the house. Yeah, like, la the only cereal I've had in a long time has been Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. Mommy Captain Crunch. Is that like... Like, uh, what was it? Booberry and, and uh, Count Chocula? Is there one for mummies? 
like a mummy cereal. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been ever he has been ever since your pa left here months ago. Give it a shove. Yeah, not a lot of chance you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. Yeah, I know there's a Frankenstein one. Like that's the I forget. I've never been a huge cereal guy. With the power out, you're going to need some kind of light source before setting foot down this broken neck trap. Alright, well, we could do that. Kinda wanna... Alright, well, let's put it, put it in there. Oh, uh, light weaponry achievement unlocked. Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low-light environments and almost to beat the bejesus out of any of these creeps that get too close. Although, that's a last resort, of course. Is it... Frankenberry? Is that it? Try the knob. It turns easily, but it won't budge. Something's blocking it. Something heavy. Yeah, it's, it's that. Oh, I I'm pretty sure it's Frankenberry. Very likely that it's Frankenberry. Count Chocula. It's a yeah. Count Chocula, Booberry, and no. Oh, hold on. I feel like it'd be kind of weird that there are two cereals that are berry. Franken. Is it, I'm pretty sure it's Frankenberry. And the other... Yeah, I don't know. Like, those cereals that you can only buy in October. Pretty sure. Or at least maybe more stores get them in October? Whatever. Uh, you guess you'll come back and deal with this affair you uh, after you get the power back on. Alright, well, down we go. Oh. That's that minor key she was looking for. It's a machine designed to take your clothes and wash them. You call it a washing machine. It serves its purpose admirably on the rare occasion a human being is willing to cooperate. All neat and folded. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, this is obviously dirty. Man, this is one, uh, one littered basement. Your pa brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. Kind of like a metaphor, you guess. Eh, you're not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction. <laughs> a souvenir from your pa after his trip to Hawaii. He's been exploring the Pacific a lot lately, for some reason. Or so he mentioned, offhandedly, a few years ago. You assume he's still doing that due to you not having any fresher data, or particularly caring one way or another where the hell he is. That chain is moving. More blue ladies. Ah, oh, loves his blue ladies portrait so much he keeps redundant backups scattered around. Because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you, as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location, right? You decide not to pull on that psychological thread because you have important work to do. And who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? Very 80s. Well. Number one mustache. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your pa's special reserve, and she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you even have any business saying anything about it at all. Those mustaches? Uh, no. 
Are those marshmallows, rather? Maybe it's something you grew up in... Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food! A, a great mystery. That's a... broken bat. Play Earthbound? Break the, the broken bat. Maybe, uh... Yeah. Forgotten skiing stuff. No basement is complete without it in your extremely limited experience. Uh, what's your pa's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand ever, ever apparent? With. All right. This musty old junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really, now, you can tell what a whisk is from, uh, what a whisk is for, but some of the stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. It's a taxidermy wa narwhal. Your pa brought it back with him from the Arctic. He sure does get around. Luckily for him, he has the big house, this big house to dump off the animals he murders and the kids he doesn't want to raise. Wow. Tap dancing for the dead feels a little ghoulish, don't you think? Yeah, I probably. For a funeral dance, ballet seems more suitable, especially when the departed was a creature of such eerie beauty and unexpected grace. Ah, of course. A little dance macabre to belatedly mark the passing of this beautiful creature. Something from La Morte de Saint-Anne. Perhaps you don't have the music ready, but you make a pledge to do it properly when you have the opportunity. What if I tap dance? Tap dance the, uh, the. Yeah, there you go. Huh, solid as a rock. You expect it to rattle a little at least, but you guess you're nothing compared to a fire breathing lizard, which is certainly not a thing that is real. Those are fake, for sure, forever, and also in the past. Also, fake as heck. Try to move the one box, and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's the ticket. Ah, Shirley Ballet! Totally unmoved. You're, you'll need a little livelier... You need to step a little livelier to get this sturdy stack out of the way. Uh-oh. It works! The path of the circuit breaker is pretty clear now. Nothing really stopping you from, you know, doing something with that. You cleared the house, uh, the boxes away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tug or whatever. Flip breaker. You flip the breaker and... Hey! Uh... Uh-oh! See something over there. Oh lord! Yeah, wow, okay. I'm bad? What? No, 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 no! no. Strife! Um... You've got no chance of beating this thing. You've got to get away. Step on it. You don't say. You gotta hold... Hold to... Legger luck... Luck step... What? Uh... Ballet? Graceful abscond! Yo, the... Cream abscond, yo! Uh, step up, achievement unlocked. Wow, alright, that 
dodge, though. Power back on! You doing or psyops or encroaching forces? Over. Give you back light only to snatch it away. Describe hypothetical, very cruel, dealing with sick operators. Over. No, it was just me. Priminy, Jude. That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but you'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Meal. Second encounter with said serpent, correct. Beast Wily. But sister already established superior wiliness attribute. Over. Hey, thanks. I think. Growth room should be trivial obstacle. Over. Wait, what? Add a key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in loop. Over and out. Alrighty. I presume that it came out of here and came into the basement. Whoa. I am incorrect. What? It's got tiny little feet. Yo, the sick dodge. Drive. Um. Food? Opening course. Uh. What's your size on the prize? Excuse me? Uh, I'll be eating some batteries. Better luck next time. Choose your battle. Ah. Og? Passion, orange, guava. Fruitless endeavor. Bitter luck next time. Uh, Bashia? Light on your feet. I hit it. Light bright. Light bite. Uh. Lies, excuse. Uh. Chew on Tango. Y'all ready for this? Uh. Oh, he really enjoyed the pet treat. Maybe you don't need to fight him after all. Huh. Um. I Yeah, I guess I, I couldn't really tell that. So let's give that a shot again. Anyone for a second? Make mine a double. Alright, big guy. Time for dessert. He's maybe not all that bad. Treat to a pulp. Alright, monster inflicted death scene averted. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. Congratulations, you've ascended to rung to attain rank of tail wagging Tyro. I have HP and muscle? Uh, minute mammal mender? Dexterity to grace to six. Ah, uh, wow. A uh, peppy patterer, master noggin bop, hubris increased by four, courtesy decreased by two. Is, is, is these stats gonna, like, stack up? So where's the key? In his desk or something? Would never leave critical t item in such obvious location. Over. Okay, but like, where did he leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother-sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromise can't discuss countermeasures over secured line, unsecured line, utilize puzzler skill list, skill, skill set over. Ah, oh, fine. All back if since is required, over and out. Okay, door closed, please. It's a katana. You have no idea what to do with one. Wait, maybe you'll just throw it away. This is exactly the kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house. What? Couldn't your pa just leave your re their regular eyes in and almost more importantly, leave their head attached to their body? Hmm. You like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait. 
Why do you want to do that, that so much? That's weird. Maybe the pogs. More knights. We got a gauntlet down there. Threw it down. Seems like someone sliced that big fellow's hand off. Lucky he's a lefty. At least posthumously. Whip armor. It's a little out of season. <laughs> It stopped at 11.11, and it has been as long as you can remember. If you could fix it, why bother? It's not like you're going to make a habit of strolling over to the worst room in this in your house to check the time. A lot of cool weapons, though. Your pa's love of globes knows no bounds. But you don't recognize any of the continents on this one. You'd have a better idea of what you were looking at if you could read these scribbly labels. All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate treasure? Spin! Spin the globe and watch the white beams rake across the surface of the globe. And I, I want to see the X a little bit better. As if being dead weren't bad enough, your paw replaced its eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracted in their facets, faceted stare gives you the creeps. But, are you crazy or is there some light reflecting off his antlers, too? Maybe it's maybe it bears closer examination. Hmm. I think I need to use the uh, flashlight on that guy. It's an Albrige, a folk art monster from Oaxaca, Mexico, carved out of the wood of the copal tree. This little thing used to creep you out really bad until your babysitter suggested you learn more about it. You found out they're based on monsters an artist saw in his dreams, and ever since then he's seemed a little more friendly. I think it's cute. It's a it, Horus. Yeah, not a raw, a Horus. This is um, Horus, you think. You're not up on your Egyptology. Cool bow, boomerangs. You've got some really old ashes in here and a couple of nearly disintegrated hunks of charred wood. If there's anything else, I think we want to reflect the lights off the antlers. You've run down the battery, oh, but you have no idea where you'd get more. Better save it when you really need it. Okay, never mind that. Uh, we'll tap dance it. Huh. You just jostle a bit? What's your deal, buckaroo? Do it. Do it again. Hmm. Okay, bat. Oh, I guess not. Uh. Ballet? To leap as nimbly as a deer is the highest challenge of the art. An alive deer, you mean. Poor guy's seen a nimbler day. If you need to move the thing, just give it a spin. No rhythmic stomps necessary. You can reset the pendulum in motion with a click of your heels, but something stops you. Clockwork, once set in motion, isn't always easy to arrest. Are you sure you're ready for the consequences? Yes? Guess not. What about the knight? This fellow's already lost his right arm. You start stepping at him and he's likely to rattle to bits. How if I put the batteries in your eyes? Batteries in the eye sockets, huh? Well, uh, it's worth a try. Nope, it wasn't! It wasn't worth a try! Hogs? Hogs in the eyes? You can never be so rude and cruel to such a big sweet kitty who's already suffered so much. Something definitely needs to go in those eye sockets, though. If only because you are getting creeped out. Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe. This little creature spurns your batteries. Look at the- look at that hoof. Arched and all spurn-like. 
It's, uh, that's a spurning hook if you've ever seen one. He's already done all the battering with those antlers that he'll ever do. It jostles a little bit. Maybe you can just kind of reach up. Oh, I didn't know you actually select the antlers separately. There's something odd about the antlers. You can't quite put a finger on it. Or maybe you can. Maybe in a literal sense? Oh. Oh. Dude, I can't make heads and tails of this thing. What thing? Over. I turned on a laser, but that's it? Nothing else is happening. Thought you were puzzle master. I was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on. Over. I believe this calls for... Burns. The gruff crying dog experiences trouble? Unbelievable. Over. Wait. This forgot a previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura pet detective. Please respond if ice required over. Pretty good burn. Okay, that's a pretty good burn. That was solid. You nailed me. Forgive if boundary overstepped. I've been informed mildly contentious banter. Cornerstone of squad com camaraderie. Over. Yep, it's fine. Anyway. How am I supposed to solve this thing? It's clearly a puzzle thing. A cle it's clearly a puzzle thing. That cries out to be solved. Use marbles. O over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You know, I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles. Over. What are you, what are you talking about? Trivial really. Over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't. None nearby? Over. No. Oops. Over. Oh. Na 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 na. Hey you. Which even unlock? You are now Jude Harley. Wow, I'm a nerd. Though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for. Laying so many preparations and countermeasures and counter countermeasures against. It would seem you had a ra you made a rare tactical blunder. The marbles that Joey needs to dis uh, disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call in the law the lone gunbirds. Listen to all the nerd noises that are happening here. Hmm. I see something around- oh, marbles for the eyes, okay. In the adorable, little nerd. Get longer pants! You dropped your favorite pair of binoculars when you were, uh, retreating from the big serpent. There are actually- these are actually your secondary auxiliary binoculars, your ox nox for short. The perfect place to store your flares, well, some of them. It's also where you keep your beeper, but you really don't want to get into that right now. You achieve the cache of flares you're keeping in your metal chest. Combined with your flare gun, they're a tactical treasure. Activity November 11th. There are careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed her stance. Huh. 1945. How far can this go before someone finds the truth? Yesterday, that's the... Unnatural fog? There are careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around the woods. Joey didn't- yeah. Apparently 12 U.S. Congress members suspected of cult activity. Huh. Hopefully it's at least non-partisan. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh... Tactical error! 
uh, consolidated all marbles here in Treehouse to prevent Attic Key from falling in the wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern putting Top Agent on it. Over. Wait, who? Did he get to touch? Get in touch with one of your friends or? Oh God. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. <laughs> Tactical espionage hat, escape hatch allows ingress and egress from your amazing treehouse. This is a pretty amazing treehouse. Not gonna lie. Like, you could legit spend all summer up in here. As long as it doesn't get too cold. Maybe get a little insulation and stay in the winter, too. Maybe a space heater. Only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately... Those are also the ones whose contents you don't precise, don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. <laughs> That's not something you ever want to see, ever. Hahaha. <laughs> You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you're, you'll already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? That's how you could have stopped the plot of Alien real quick. Crack open that... I don't know. If, if, like that one dude in, the, in Alien, remember? That had the knife? And just let him stab it? Probably could just end the movie right there. Or at least, it attack him, and the rest of them could stab it while it's attacking him. I don't know. Uh... Chewing on his pencils. I think I may have done that to one pencil once. Just for the sake of having heard that people did it, and then I never did it again. Look at that nice, empty pouch. You sure could put some stuff in that pouch. Perhaps... Oh. Cat's eye. I get it. This stuff is all treasure, plain and simple. Did a few times. Is it like, on the level of biting your nails, is it like a nervous thing that people do? You move a cat's eye marble to the pouch. You move a yellow marble to the pouch. A carrier pigeon couldn't possibly carry that much weight. Better stick with two marbles. Fact. Did on pen caps? I never did a pen cap, but that's also a thing people do. Uh, you do a quick visual inspection and confirm that the pouch contains one cat's eye marble and one yellow marble. Wait, are those the right marble colors? On second thought, doesn't feel right. Didn't you have a secret diagram prominently displayed somewhere to help you out with this exact problem? I'm pretty sure it's, uh... Probably two cat's eye. Oh no, it's a red and a green. Never mind. All right. You've already committed this crucial intelligence to memory, but a truly great field commander keeps even better records. So it's a yeah, red green. So no cat's eyes for cat's eyes. What a nerd. This is nerd music. Uh, okay. You're probably the only kid in school that owns one of these babies. What if those kids get stranded in the middle of the ocean? Then joke's on them until they starve and die. The chamber is empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols. But maybe you should load it, because you've already observed some scary stuff this evening. Oh, yeah. We even have, like, a sculptor of the the Kraken from Earthbound? Look at those monsters. No eyes, no weapons, only the most rudimentary of squad-based tactical maneuvers. This is a diversionary feint by an unexpen- but, but from by an expendable vanguard, if you've ever seen one. Well, yeah, let's block this monster. 
That's the thing, is that the Kraken in Earthbound is actually more of a snake. You'll see it one of these days. I'll play Earthbound and you'll see the Kraken. It's not exactly like that, but it's it's actually pretty similar. There she blows, Harley Manor. Well, maybe only half Harley Manor, since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother's. Man, look at that ripped statue. That ripped... Ripped... Uh, horseman. Alright, we gotta look at the rest of these diagrams. Wow, alright, this one's detailed. What the hell? President Clinton gives birth to Bigfoot! Fat boy spotted at bar mitzvah. This thing. Talk about an enigma. One day you'll figure out what it does and why certain shady characters want to get their hands on it so badly. You have some theories, of course. Well, yeah, this is like a whole other league from this. Your copious notes on some disrupt, uh, disreputable activities carried out by members of what you can only describe as some sort of cult. You've been surreptitiously gathering intelligence on them for a good while. You've uh, detailed some of the stuff on your site on your sites, but the really juicy stuff has to stay off the grid. A term you have just coined yourself just now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely know what I'm doing. I'm just... Also... Uh, breathe. Hold hands steady. You carefully load the flares in the flare gun. There's no going back now. The genie's out of the bottle. I'm just exploring. It's fun to look around at all this stuff. Uh, progress? Look, if you were just... If you were just your can on the line, you'd be out out that hatch, down the ladder, and blasting monsters in a second. But Joey's counting on you, and you've got to get her to a more defensible position before you can even consider heroically banding your own. Uh, when the heat is on from the government, you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid. You entrust it, uh, you entrust it to one of your train carrier pigeons, the lone gunbirds. You survey the troops, there's Langley, Byers, and of course, uh, Frohike. He's your favorite. Dear sweet Frohike, how you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. Alright, so, red and green. Red marble in the pouch. Green marble in the pouch. Get pouch. You take the pouch with red and green marbles. Curious. The marbles, the cat head, the globe, the deer. It's obvious. Child's play. Joey should have no trouble with it, except for the fact that she doesn't have any marbles. Alright, well, I think. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Also, this. Might be time to scan the airwaves again. See if you can pick up any chatter from the enemy. Or maybe not. Yay! Uh, how's it gonna- Oh, yep, yep. Oh, the pear pigeon! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Sorry for all that unbelievable tragedy disaster over. Did he lose something? Something else? My soldier on making second attempt now. Over. Uh, alright. Are you, sh are you sure you're... Over. Over and out, Frank. 
Oh, Lord. Bro, like, no. Bro, like, you little sweet, precious, dear, darling, and ultimately fragile, bro, like, you were too good for this rotten, dark nightmare of a world. May the wings of chance and dream bear thee to thy rest on the white sandy shores of paradise. Bro, like, uh, you can either press the drawer and load it with another red marble and another green marble. All right. Uh, uh, attempt number two. Uh, go on. Unreliable. Ah! Bro, I sacrifices for nothing. You all right? Betrayal. Over. Abandonment. Over. Lowest, vilest cowardice! Over. Um, well. Can't even communicate! True degree of outrage! Over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed! Over. Uh. Incoming! Over and out. Frickin'. If you sent that one first. Bro, I would be alive! Your hands are. Definitely not shaky as you pluck two more marbles from their safe, cozy compartments in the drawer and drop them into the depths of the pouch's waiting leathery maw. Third time's a charm. Huh? <laughs> ah! Yeah! Hey! Uh, the other thing that's a charm achievement unlock. Success! Gee, some crow buyers buy boys so brave, so true, so great! Over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It, w it would maybe be some kind of relief after years of build up, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished! Buyers, champion of champions, waiting for you in kitchen. Over. Why? Question. Question mark. Over. Oh, buyers has marbles required to activate key. Over. All right. I guess that sort of makes sense. New development. Buyers being menaced. Please hurry. Over. What? Okay. Oh, uh, uh, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. Uh, not only do you have power to replace the deer's eyes with creepy glass orbs, you install some kind of antler-activated laser system in its head. Uh, you're gonna stick with the... You're gonna stick with these beams-on thing for a little longer. Feels right. Whoa, that sure did something. All right. This is exactly the kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house, yeah. Why couldn't your paw just leave reg- yeah, oh. Alright, well I gotta save that pigeon. Yeah, oh absolutely, I'm taking my time. Oh, what's this? I didn't look at this before, that's cool. You've never entirely clear- uh, you've never been entirely clear on what's going on in this tapestry, but it certainly looks intense, just- Look at that fire-breathing serpent beast in the bot at the bottom, and that red-eyed figure on the throne. What's their deal? That's cool, though. Very, I mean, it's Egyptian-esque, but clearly not actually Egyptian. Also, very torn up. All right, well, uh, we gotta save Pigeon. Uh, wait, no, this way. Ah, I, I clicked out of the window. Ah. <laughs> Sick combat roll. Strife. 
Uh, smack him. Hey, over here. Hey, over here. Nothing doing. Uh, batteries. Charge! <laughs> Meta luck next time. Uh, pogs? Flip that flap out! Flip, skip. Hey, stop that! Uh, food? Oh, wait, no, no, hold on. Uh, the tap. Delectable disdain! Alright, it's gotta be the. Yeah. Pardon me, boy! Can you give me a shine? Get bopped! Curl him with daylight! Oh, wait. Uh, I'm assuming he's gonna hit him. Uh, how about some food? Press start. Stalemate. And again? Let's try more pogs. Tough crowd. Maybe need something a little more flat. Really? I already tried that. Flash step. Oh, oh, now I can hit him. That's surprising. Step for luck next time. I guess I I, I got his, his, his attention with the light, and then I need to. Maybe do this now. Pass the bridge. Pass the board. We actually have to try and hit him one more time. Huh. He get his attention. Then the batteries? Yo, Sniper Panda, what's up? Like, my name or his name? Oh, you think the tap shoots? Step gingerly. Thousand yard a stair. No, clearly not that. Mine? Yeah. I've gotten cry onion before. Mercy not included. Please, there, there we go. I hit him. Tell you later. All right, we got the we got the lore now. We got the strats. Yeah, hope you're having a good Saturday, Sniper Panda. Oh, I'm flattered. I'm gonna. I want an emote or something that is fry onion. Like maybe those, the EU safety regulation, the sad onion that's under three years old that will probably eat the batteries. Or maybe I'm not supposed to actually hit it with the batteries. Wait, right, hold on a second. I mean, this thing's glimmering. Is that like a spice rack? Oh, I got it. Got magic spice mix. Uh, eat this. Spice to meet you. I'm just surprised that I couldn't get the- wow. I killed it. Mixed six- wait, mixed success? I guess probably because it took so long. I thought I would have been able to get that earlier, but it's not. Wow. Like, one of those watch batteries? Man. Hopefully that at least passed well. Joey, thanks thanks, thank you for tactically brilliant seasoning murder. Byers has payload. Repeat, Byers has payload. Over. Thanks, um... 
Do you know how I might get him down? He's pretty terrified. Negative. Buyer simply has an un unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to enticement over. Over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like set up for a riddle, or perhaps joke. Over. Small. Burn your small intestine at- Oh, wow. Dude. Yeah. With a thing smaller than a Skittle. Yeah, you probably would burst it in your stomach. Yeah. Oof. Hopefully it didn't leave any lasting damage. Bye, dude. Over and out. Hey, Shai Pengu, how's it going? Alright, no lasting damage? Good, good. Yeah, I'm doing well. This is, a, this is a fun game. It's funny. Bidding for the theme. It looks like all the fracas with the monster got him pretty shook up. You might have to find something here in the kitchen you can tempt him with. A friend! As you do not have flight capability, the pigeon remains out of reach. Better than pennies, dimes, and half dollars. Alright. I mean... Those... Probably will pass and not burst in your stomach, so... That's a step up? Maybe he needs enticing. What do pigeons like? They like... Feeds. Oh, hold on. Uh, you don't like regular food, do ya? Oddly enough, you aren't sure these are safe for birds. After the violent strangled death of the monster, you're a little nervous about the feeding... about just feeding things to other things at random. Oh, the penny ones? Ugh. I, in my entire life, I don't think I've ever eaten something... inedible. Pretty sure. Maybe there's something safer around here, like bur like bread? Bread like at least. Alright. Crumbs, bread. Pizza? Oh! Cereal? Yeah, the grunch? That would probably kill a bird. Wait, oh, what's that? Dog food? Yeah, it wasn't on purpose. Uh Went to a spring and swallowed a small fish. I think it was the size of a thumb. Wow, dude. You eat a lot of... A lot of things. Ate a lot of things. Well, because they're trying to clean it. We were less than six. Imagine trying to clean a penny with your freaking tongue. But, you know. I, I mean, yeah. Child. Oh, I, I didn't even look up. Hmm. Children will be children. <laughs> That's funny. It didn't taste bad explicitly. I guess that's why they make the they make the Nintendo Switch cartridges, if you can even call it cartridges, chips. Tastes like really bitter. Hmm. I don't think. Is there anything we might have missed? Nothing I really got. Eat pogs. Pogs are what you what it takes to get off the fridge. He could stay up there. There's gonna be something else around here he'd be more into. Wait. Hold on. I feel like a lot of people were doing that when the Switch first came out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't even look up here. A single saltine cracker? Or a matzah cracker? That's a... That's a beautiful shot right there. All you can raid from this meager cabinet is the stalest, tiniest, worst cracker. Ooh. Oh, here you go, my guy. A feathery doofus acquired, a cheap bit of luck. Success! This little fellow, Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with letting him hold onto until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Okay, got the marbles. You want me to send the pigeon back? No! Over. Okay. Literally tingling. Man. How to make something taste awful without it being outright toxic. That's, that's, that's good. And you know someone had to have tested it too, right? Someone had to have been like, alright, how bad does this taste? Alright, this tastes awful. Or maybe, alright, this doesn't taste as bad as it should. There's no way it's toxic. Because they would... There's no way they could actually sell you something that, like that that the whole point is to make it so you don't eat it, that children don't eat it, like pennies. They, they couldn't make it toxic. They just make it taste so bad that you think it's toxic. Unlike pennies. Sorry, didn't mean to shout, just worried. Please protect buyers. His chances of surviving return trip very remote. Over. Oh yeah, good point. Seems pretty dicey out, out there. Affirmative. Over. I'll just use these marbles or whatever, then. I'll let you know how it goes. Affirmative! Good luck, sis! Good luck, sis! Over and up. Aw, oh, look at it, he's cute! Alright, I kinda wanna just... This is Byers, apparently. He has a little satchel around his neck. Jude says there's some marbles in there, so you guess those will come in handy somehow. Until such a situation presents itself, you're content to let Byers handle marbles duty. Um, sure. Neat. You carefully remove the marble pouch from around his neck, and believe it or not, shove those marbles into the empty eye sockets. You discard the pouch. What an evening this has been. Fires did a great job bringing you those marbles. He can hang out in your silodex until the opportunity for him to be useful presents himself itself, or until he poops too much. Whatever comes first. Yes, yeah, spin the globe! Now, now, I know what I'm doing. I'm just exploring around. Literally the only thing I could do now other than look at it. Oh! Bingo! You did it! The attic key has been found! You got where you assume to be the attic key. And why's it even locked, achievement unlock? Remember when you found this key? Good times, friend. Oop, no, I do want to, uh... Got the key. Heading heading back up to the attic now. Careful, may not be this, that simple. Over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile elements, grouping serpents, massing. Over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always there, bro. Over and out. Alright, here we go.
Uh oh. Dang. Bust it on through. Yeah, just run. Oh, even the front door. Oh. Ah! A squeeze between the two. Okay, my guy. Hey, wait! Dang! Uh... Oh, we we're gonna switch in between the two. Joey took a brutal hit! She's down for the count! You've got to find some way to distract those monsters until she can get back on her feet. Uh... Alright, well that's good. Um... Yeah, uh, big maw. Anything you toss in there, you're never getting back. Oh, batteries. Bugs. Twice? Yeah, maybe. I really don't want to have to throw the pigeon in there. Okay, so now it's telling me just to deal with these guys. Um, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh! Nope, never mind. That's exactly what I wanted to do. No excuses! Double load of the flare gun is extremely unsafe. You don't even like to single load it. Sometimes, sometimes, the general must lead from the front. By which you mean fire a single flare from the safety of this treehouse. Facts. Look, if it were just- yeah. Flare number two, go! Easily distracted. Um. Hmm. Try it again. And the rest bezel. Oh. Put on the red. They're on the Ritz! No va- No vacancy. Apparently that didn't do anything. Electro light him up. It's a no from me! Hmm. Um... Hogs? Uh, he's probably going to try to eat them, right? That's what he'll do, because he's a simple little bird brain who- Oh, wait, no, that's not what he meant to do. Uh, wearing the pog like the little hat. Touché, buyers. That's pretty darn cute. Beg for a treat? Oh! Beggar, luck next time. Huh. Got a- It's got a mouth for an eye. Yeah, maybe the ballet. Don't dip sip that to me. Um. <laughs> Curring fever. Girl, quit all that currying around. Hey, jerk. Okay, yeah, I thought I tried that a second ago. Delighted to see ya. <laughs> He's good at- oh, no, no, don't, uh. 
got too cocky. Is he, oh, and he left the leaves on fire. Much bigger distraction. He likes it. Oh, ah, so does he apparently. Signature style and flair achievement unlocked. Gosh, you hope Joey's okay. Right now, she's doing right now. Okay, so I can just switch between the two. Oh. Wow. I got a game over because I accidentally switched? Wait, what? That was a weird. Or not even accidentally, but, uh. Huh. Yeah, her is key. And now what in the hell is going on here, Achievement Unlock? And the key's gone. Joey, come in, please report. Status, Joey. Hello, it's Jude. Dory, okay, Joey, please. Over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew. Over. Maybe because I, like... I took too long. Like, I did something, I did any misstep. And, uh, that killed me. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Stay for an attic, then rest of house. Key can be retrieved later. Over. Think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room window and the front door. Yeah. Sniper Panda and Team Panda headshotting at the speed of light. Hmm. Surrender now, we're queuing the fight. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, Separatus with Vanguard. And it's kind of weird that uh, clicking even that to close that kind of skipped or whatever. I know, who would have thought? Separated us from Vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally attempted entry to multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. We're over. You actually know your stuff? You actually know this stuff? I didn't realize you actually knew this stuff. I kind of just thought you just liked pretending to be a spy or whatever. We'll take his compliment. Over. Anyway, thanks. So, I'll just hold up here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Did you try calling your friends or something? Did a lot of risk their involvement. Always gamble engaging soldiers' fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain, over. I'm not going to ignore it. Well, obviously I'm not going to ignore it. Joey, please! Over. What? It's a big mysterious thing under a beguiling, fluttery curtain. I have I have to at least peek at it. What is it, anyway? Data insufficient to determine. Over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't act it. You're seriously and been over. You there, Joe? Oh, go. No, mortal, it's a really bad idea. Over. Dude, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, please. I can't lose you to. Please do. Go, your portal. Ver Did you say portal? Portal. That hand is switching. Well, it turns out you live in a house that has a hand and a jar in it. You might now carry this knowledge with you forever. High five. You've left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross, uh, desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time for you to break open this jar and slap an anonymous dead hand against your own alive hand has tragically passed. World's in crisis. If only Captain Planet were here, then the monsters could eat him and you could escape while they were distracted. 
locked in here. Safely on the side. Thank goodness. Door is locked and he dropped the key. The key fell through the floorboards. Down into, uh... You're not sure, actually. You put this in the attic yourself because it weirded you out that your pa had a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. Mm-hmm. That's the reference. Little did he know he'd soon graduate to lamp shaped like entire women. What the hell? This is like a whole... Another victim of Jude's overzealous brow bearing, no doubt. Any chance he gets to... Uh, gets to... gets to... Pry oh, that's a typo. Prying and jimmying, this kid just goes nutso. The handwriting is barely legible, and there is no return address, leaving you with no more information than you had before you looked at it. No, this really isn't the kind of mystery, the boring kind, where you actually where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. Hate those. Since he got his first best shotgun, this one fell out of favor and now primarily functions as a home to thick with thick layer of attic dust. Meanwhile, it's favorite brother is living out a shotgun's daydream in the hands of your pa. No, hold on. Load slash unload. There is no chance you're going to pick up this gun and you certainly aren't going to lock and load any time. It just isn't going to happen. Tom's passion for previously alive uh, artifacture has always given you the willies. What is it with him? Not only does he not respect the lives of the critters he shoots, he seems infatuated with the notion of death itself. What a twisted jerk. Bitter mummy. Draw strength from the mummy's unassailable calmness. You are stronger now, having considered the mummy at length. You're so you're gonna go ahead and stop considering the mummy. So much crap in here. You haven't been up here in a while. Your pa sure does keep a lot of weird crap up here. Weirder than the other crap, that is. Or, maybe not. All this stupid crap is basically the same. You haven't been up here in a while. Yeah. Disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they meet. Yuck, more of his guns. These are antiques and probably wouldn't fetch a and, and probably and would probably fetch a tidy sum at auction. But do you think the only real perk of their antiquity is it probably means it's been ages since they were used to murder anything furry and precious? You don't use guns. These are definitely loaded though. Your pa doesn't leave unloaded guns lying around, or hanging precariously in decaying nets either. Jeez. Right over your room. Yeah, more- yeah. Wow. A lot of guns. Like, a lot of guns. Yeah, this is that same shotgun. That's everything over here. Why does he love globes so much? Maybe they remind him of adventure. All the little abstract geological features. The jagged borders of exotic nations. The tiny bumps representing mountains. Unfortunately, whenever you look at globes in its school, or whenever you... Or when, wherever, they just remind you of him. A lot of mummies? There's... Got all the globes. Oh, nothing else to do. You can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around, although you really wish you could. Better see what's under there now, though, before it gets the 
drop on you. You know what? Not the worst idea? I don't know. It's probably... It's, it's a bad idea. No matter what. Let's do it. Oh. It's the thing in dude's schematic. So basically... Two hours in, and I, this is also after maybe an, at least an hour of playing this game before. Three hours in, this is actually the plot. The keyhole. It calls out to your mind. Wait. What? You. Key! You picture your heirloom. Key. Get it. Use it. Start it. Now. 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 Key! Ooh, key. W, w. Use keyhole. You. Feel like you should, somehow. Like you were always going to. Yeah. I do I do take my time. That's how that's a good way to play these games, especially when the dialogue is so cool like this. Like you were yeah, like you could run through this pretty quickly if you knew exactly what you're doing, especially. Like you were always going to? It's a difficult sensation to describe, even to yourself, but what goes on in there? Batteries. Doesn't look like it needs batteries. More like it's waiting for something else. Hold on, waiting? Weird machine sitting in your attic can't wait, right? Right? Parts of that thing look rickety, but somehow you think it'll stand up to you tap dancing at it. You need something a little stronger than that uh, than just your shoes and your steps to break this thing. Weird. You feel like you already know this thing will make music. Maybe it's like a really complicated organ and maybe you saw it in a book somewhere. None of that seems right. What the heck is it? I mean, that's kind of the whole point of point-and-click adventure games. It's no problem if you're not interested in it. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Jeez. Wow. Yes. You. Okay. Yeah. You want to do that. Yeah. Just. Yeah. The keyhole. Do it. Do it. You feel like you have to. Did it do it? Come on. Did it walk up closer? Operate. You don't know how to operate this thing, of course. Uh, the final key. Seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known and we're always going to do and have always known and do it, do it, do it, now, 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 the key, do it, do it, open the door. Uh, can I get closer? Hold on, I'm, I'm got the key. I just want to move a little bit. There we are. Uh, maybe not the best. Oh, okay. Oh man, it's a Stargate. Red and green lasers. Uh, hive swap. Idle screen, kinda. Let's do the time warp again.
Looks like around 11 days and counting. Down, not up. What if you just stayed in this room forever? The melancholic glow of this mysterious device, your only company. What if you just fucked the system and refused to scramble about rearranging it, the deck chairs on the sinking ship to the rhythm of the indifferent string quartet? You've lurked just out of sight every moment in your life. Well, fine. Apparently I'm in a boat? Uh, well, fine. You'd still only have about 11 days before this time it ran out. Whatever that means. Got a weird electric bug? It seems to be trying to communicate. Maybe you should pick it up for a closer look. You pick up the flashing board. Words blink on the screen in an unfamiliar alphabet. For some reason, you can understand it anyway. Hello? Someone there? Chat room? Eleven days till you can't... Maybe you can't go home. Yeah, per maybe. Yeah. I'm stuck. The, that's, the, that's where the name comes from. If a moderator is present, I require some assistance, please. Tetrarch. There's a huge explosion, so... Were you harmed? Thanks for asking, although I didn't see any explosion. Well, maybe I did, sorta? The roof of your hive is totally jacked. If you say so, wait, you can see my roof? Who are you? What do you mean, my hive? Oh. Oh no. I'm so sorry, I forgot the code again. I'm really trying, I swear. It's just because I was so worried about you, I wasn't thinking, and it'll never happen again, I promise. I... What's going on? Nothing! All that matters is that you're okay. Are you okay? You are okay, right? Where am I? Okay, you know, uh... I know this one for sure. You're in the basement, right? I mean, you're not there. You're somewhere else. I, um... Oops, uh, did I say the wrong thing? What do you want uh, me to tell you you... Where do you want me to tell you you are? Who are you? I'm Zephros. Oh no. No, that was a test, wasn't it? Okay, I know I just said it would never happen again. I mean, that's starting from now. No exceptions to that to the code. I am absolutely not Zephros. Right. X Spiley question mark? Sorry! I'm um why are you apologizing? Never hurts to be sorry. So, um, Zephros. I'm getting that I'm in a basement somewhere, but you think we shouldn't say that? Yeah. That's exactly right. I got- I got a- I got a right, uh, didn't I? If you say so. I don't suppose you know that- what the deal is with this huge machine with the snakes on it. It's sort of like the one in my attic. Except the one in my attic wasn't so space-age and it didn't have a weird force field bubble. Attic? You know, down the hall upstairs. The highest room in the house. Oh, duh. More code. Sorry! Yeah, the secret weapon. I'm sorry about that, Tetrag Damek. Big weapon? Tetrag Damek? Sorry, I know I keep messing up. I'm doing my best. What is Tetrag Damek? Um, your name? I mean, not your name. My name is Tetrag Damek? Of course not. Never know who might be reading. Ah, uh, jeez. What was your code name again? My name's Joey. Right, I knew that. That was my fault. I'm sorry, I had no idea things would go so wrong. Wait, what? I was going to ask you first, but then I thought maybe it was a quiz and that... It was a 
uh, that if I had to stop I had to ask you, I would fail it, so I just put the battery and the weapon like you said. What? What are you talking about? I thought I thought you left that weird paper out on the crate as instructions. Weird paper. Not weird. Great. The plan is great, Joey. The heiress will never expect it. I mean, I'm still not sure I get what it is exactly, but still. Just proud to be entrusted with such an important duty. Hey, let me yeah, let me get back to you. Huh. So maybe let's go ahead and uh stay. You know, what if I Yeah. Uh, so, oh, uh, what are you, what are you feeling? You think that I should keep going a bit? Maybe go, maybe do something else for a little bit, or what are you, what are you thinking? Or anyone else that may be here. I'm down for switching to something else for a little while. I probably should go to bed somewhere around one-ish, up to me. Hmm. Ugh. Well, we finally got to the the main bulk of this. The, the, we, the whole thing is that the, the hive swap. We are clearly in the hive. And we have been swapped with this Petrog Demic. How are you doing, Pigeon Man? Yeah, I'm feeling... Hmm. Start menu. Oh yeah, see, like, this is a whole new title screen. A very different looking city. But I've been going for two hours. Uh, yeah, I think I'll actually call it a little bit earlier, because I do have to wake up in the morning. And I will be... Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm just going to do Stardew. The a little chill Stardew. I don't really feel... It's like, I'm going to... Because tomorrow is the Equinox, the first day of spring, and we are... And the whole, the theme for tomorrow, I I was trying to see if I can get some multiplayer going, but I have not been able to find anybody to do that with. So, I'll just start a new campaign, new little one, and maybe just do a, a little, a light. Hey, you won't start to? Start a multiplayer? You know what, sure. Let's do it. Tomorrow, let's play Stardew Valley. Let's do multiplayer Stardew. Uh, what time would he be? You know what? I'll just message you on Discord. We'll talk about it. Um, yeah. All right. Tomorrow we'll do uh, Stardew multiplayer. So thanks for hanging out, everybody, and have a good night. Bye.